Welcome to Real Bass Lessons. Today uh, I want to teach you a nice R&B little groove. I'll teach you the lick and then we'll make a little song out of it, okay? I think you'll dig it. I'm working out of this book here. And so let me just jump in and teach it to you. Here's the basic riff. We're obviously an E. Yeah, real simple, huh? See that one mute? Yeah, boom, bato, beep. That little muted 16th note. Why don't you jump in and play this with me? Three, four. Cool. Now that's an E minor. And we're going to play that exact phrase, or, or excuse me, that phrase <laughs> in a bunch of other measures, but it's not going to be exact. We're going to play it on C major, and it's this. That's the major 7, not the flatted 7 that was on E minor. No, C is. Then down to G, major. See, again, not the minor 7, the major 7. A minor. Back to E. And there's one time we'll, we'll actually play that major 7 on E. It's an E minor major 7. Then to C again. Major. G major. A minor. And then one time we'll vary it. Then E minor again. D major. There's that major 7. Then C major. That's the last two measures. Yeah, it's like a little, sort of like a little fill that gets us back up there. I'm going to play it through now, and so you can listen to it. Here's the drum groove. Feel free to jump in and play along, but listen to it and try to get the form of it. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Cool, I screwed up one note there. In that uh, four bars from the end, I played major seven instead of the dominant seven. So let me go over it with you again. 24 measures, first, first two measures. Exactly the same. Next two measures, C major. G major. A minor. Resolve to E major, except I'm going to use the right here, major 7, and then this little lick, C major, G major, A minor, little variation, back to E minor. that last phrase. Top. Cool. Now there's a lot of value in you actually getting your bass out and playing with me and learning this on the fly. I call it on the fly, meaning I'm not stopping for you. Obviously, if you just can't find a note, you probably have to stop the little video here and figure it out or repeat it over and over and over. But I'm pretty sure you can do it. Let's do it one more time real slow. Two measures of E minor. measures of C major. G major. Going up to A minor. And then two measures of E minor. 
minor with little variations. Major seven, and then here's this a lick. Halfway through the song, C major. G major. A minor. Little variation. Back to E minor. D major. C major with our last phrase. Killer. I'm positive you can figure that out. Now here's the best way. Let's just play it three or four or five times in a row and you just play along with me. You'll hear that shape. Of course you'll miss some notes, but you'll get some too, okay? And if you'll do it enough, guess what? You'll get them all and it'll feel real good. <laughs> Let's try it. Two, one. you do you got it happening <laughs> i'm uh, uh i'm digging it a lot let's just play it a couple more times okay listen to it listen to it and listen to it here we go two a one two three four Marvelous. Let's stop. Let's do it again now, and you play the bass line, and I'll add some little chords and uh, and maybe even a solo over the top. Okay? Let's go to that now. One, two, three, four.
Cool, let's stop. Oh boy, that's cool. I think I messed up and I know I did in that bass line. I was thinking about what I was gonna tell you now. But you were hopefully you were playing a good solid bass line doing it right. Now, I know this is simple, but can you appreciate working on it and working on it till it's just perfect? That's what has to happen when you play, you know. You can't groove for you know seven bars and mess up an eighth one or groove for one chorus and get tired and mess up the next one. No, you need to practice as though you're performing. Pretend we're playing this little song in front of people and you're gonna do four choruses nonstop and just do it and just get it solid and perfect. Let's try that. Let's try it with only two choruses, but let's just try it, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Play with me, have some fun getting into this. Make up your own solo. Just get into it and use it as a practice model to help polish and, uh, uh, you know, make sure you're playing it. It's, what's the word I was looking for? Uh, uh, not filter it, but the point is, is, yeah, polish it up. Clean it up. Make sure it's, it's just get, oh, that's it, precise. Make sure you just get everything real precise. Right on. <laughs>